What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Roboco, and it's been a while since we played Roboco, but the devs have added some new campaign missions, so I do want to get back into Sandbox and work on some more cars. I had a lot of fun building realistic cars in this game, but uh, the campaign, yeah, we've got some new campaign missions, which is kind of cool. So we have beaten Sandwich Server a long time ago. You can check out my Roboco playlist. I'll put the link in the description, but we've got these new tutorials now called Robot Repair, and then of course we've got Wooden Chips, which I believe I beat before and across the goo and now we can even see some more of the missions which we haven't done robo coffee i think was a mission but i never did it so you can see just lots of extra missions that are all completely locked yet see coming soon so at least i want to get these robot repair tutorials quote unquote i think it's a really cool way to do tutorials but i want to be the master robot repairer and then i guess we'll have to do the sandwich server again all right so the first thing is center of mass i feel like okay i feel like this is going to be all easy so there's five different things each one gives us one bit and then we'll have to do a simple sandwich server to uh you know get that sixth bit and unlock this next section all right hello sir how are you yep of course me oh there's goo gotcha gotcha can't touch the goo I still think the goo looks more radioactive than anything else all right um we just gotta get i mean this is pretty easy we can tell that this block clearly has to be shifted over i mean we just gotta move it enter robot okay yeah i got it activate the robot yeah i know it's gonna flip over okay yeah so I just gotta grab this and move that. There we go. Oh, it's dead. Okay, hold on. Well, what if I just move this down as well? Okay, what if I move it all the way down? Are you serious? What if I move it forward? Well, there we go. Oh my god. Okay, and I it won't let me scale the size of this. Are you serious? Oh, there we go. I just had to move it right above the wheels. Perfect. Pretty easy. Kind of a nice way to do tutorials. It's There's normally a scale feature too. I was thinking you could just scale that down. RPM, the robot can't drive through the goal. Look for what's wrong with the motors and try to fix it. Pretty sure we know what this is going to be. It's going to be just go into the motor settings and crank the RPM up. It's on a treadmill. That is super cool. They've got treadmills now. That's kind of awesome. I hope there's one of these in the sandbox so we can test cars on treadmills. Activate the robot. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's not fast enough. Robot can't drive for the goal. Yeah, I see that. No problem. Let me go adjust the motors. DC motor. Yeah, target RPM. Max that out for sure. No question about it. There we go. Easy mode. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm a master at repairing robots. This robot can't lift the weights. Make the robot's motors muscles more power. Oh, this is kind of cool. Torque. Torque tutorial. Okay, yeah, no, it's gotta, it's gotta adjust it. Okay, no problem. Let's just go to, wait. What? Why, I only get the scale function for this? Oh, did they change it so as you scale motors, they end up getting more torque? That is kind of cool if that's what it is. These are, it's max three by three though. That's actually so cool. It used to be there were a bunch of different motor sizes, and now you scale the motor up. I like that so much better. Flip motor direction. The robot spins in circles and doesn't drive straight. Look for what's wrong with the motors and try to fit. Guys, obviously, these are tutorials. They're relatively easy, but I just wanted to actually try them out because it's kind of cool that the tutorials are more of like a puzzle that you have to solve, although they're pretty easy. Uh, this is some Alice in Wonderland stuff right here. Look, you got a, a, a rabbit, the Mad Hatter there. They've got the Queen of Hearts. Okay, yeah, obviously it spins, no problem. We just gotta grab some motors. Um, those ones are the wrong directions. We just flip them. Flip them. Done. Easy. Look at all the applause. You guys are, you guys, look, oh my god. You guys are great. I love you so much. All right, finally, of course, robot motor controls. The robot drives off the course. Look for what's wrong with the controls and try to fix it. I'm wondering, did they add sensors? It seems all these robots are auto driving at this point. So I wonder if they added sensors that lets us actually make line following robots and stuff. That's kind of awesome. Oh my God, are you serious? Okay, all righty then. Activate the robot. It doesn't do anything. Oh no, I have, I have the ability to drive it. Okay. Yeah, well... Okay, when I press S, it only activates the one side. When I press W, it only activates the other. That's clearly... That's clearly a problem. Okay. 
So I just need to adjust everything. Uh, go forward. Need those to spin forward, yes. And I also need you two to spin reverse. And go reverse. I need you two to spin reverse, which is perfect. And you two to spin full no, reverse. Wait a minute, what? That doesn't make sense. Why are these? Oh, yeah, no, that would make you spin forward. There we go, perfect. All right, and then for A, I need DC motor one to spin forward, you to spin forward, you to spin reverse, you to spin reverse. It's pretty simple stuff. I mean, obviously it's telling us how to set up, you know, tank steering so we can make this work. Perfect. Easy. I am the best robot repairman in all of the universe. Alright, we're just gonna chill. Wonderful. Wonderful. And make it to the finish. And make it make it to the Alright there. Alright. I gotta be more patient. I, okay. Hold on a minute. Can I oh no, I can't adjust the motor strengths. Never mind. We'll just chill. What's up, dude? Thanks. Wait again. Yep. Perfect. And wait a third time. Wonderful. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Completed. Alright, so that is all the initial tutorials. There are more tutorials. Robot repair tutorials. I want to get into these as well. Uh, but apparently we need to get one, at least one thing on the sandwich server. So deliver a sandwich to the guests at table 6. That's literally the only thing we have to do. Without touching the table upright and then you know we get other i guess there's secret objectives i don't know how you get these three that's interesting you get three bits just for doing the main stuff but anyway we're gonna build a sandwich serving robot i've done this before it's relatively easy all right it is sandwich serving time now i'm not gonna try and do anything super fancy with this there is a really easy way to beat this we just need to make a platform and kind of drive it at the table really fast and if we do that we'll be good to go why are there 10 sandwiches i wonder if one of the objectives is like just you know deliver yeah rotate camera okay we're good constructs unlocked do i can i just i'm just gonna skip this tutorial i know how to build a car so we're just gonna start with a really basic you know heavy platform drag this out sure something like that whatever good enough perfect that'll be that should be good enough and then we're gonna put some constructs on it uh some wheels so these are the pre-built wheels by the devs of oh my god that's so small no we need we need bigger ones i need very big ones there's Front, left, perfect. Excellent, done. And then the two right ones. So again, this is just a really basic way to build a robot. It's got, you know, if we start right now, it's already got pre-programmed stuff in. You know, we're good to go. And then all we gotta do, really, is just put a piece in the middle. Stretch this guy up. To, you know, that height, sure, something like that. And then put a piece on top of him. And stretch it, stretch it. You know, something like this. Excellent. Width-wise as well. Close enough, maybe. Let's just try and center that so we don't have any weird lopsidedness going on. And then we'll put one final piece just so the sandwich doesn't accidentally slide off the end. There we go. That should be the easiest sandwich serving robot we've ever made. Now, hold on. Yeah. You're gonna drop me my sandwich? Perfect. Oh, it doesn't even it doesn't even need the back piece. And then we should just be able to, you know, like just kind of hit this. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Without touching the table. Yeah, no, I, I screwed that up. I, I'm not trying to get all of them here, though. Could go back and do this. I did do this properly and get all the objectives before. Although, I'm not sure if they've changed or not. Let's see if we can... Okay, hold on. That was that was almost there. Perfect. See, look at that. It wasn't, it wasn't upright on the plate, but you know what? It's good enough. You can eat that, bro. Alright, let's go fix more robots. Interesting. It actually gives you achievements. So, oh, there's score. So you get the three for that, and then you get three for score. So we got 2,453 points, which means we got one tick. So we actually ended up getting two ticks for it. If we did all the objectives and got the full score of 8,000, um, then we would get, I see, that's kind of cool. That's neat. I like it. All right, perfect. We unlocked all the new challenges and the other repair challenges, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So servo motors, transmitters, surface joints, rotational joints, and sliding joints. This seems like it'll be a little bit more difficult than the previous ones. Let's see how good my Roboco knowledge actually is. Oh my god, this is awesome. Look at the detail the devs put into some of these things. Like, this is crazy. There's a freaking piano. Activate the robot. Yep. Press W. It doesn't move far enough. 
All right, well, that should be easy enough. We just got to go into the servo motor settings and adjust it. Uh, target RPM, yeah, clockwise limit. No, this needs to be more. Let's just make that like 90. There you go. That'll, that'll, 91, perfect. That'll hit it. That's so cool. That's insane. I love it. All right, next we go into transmitters. The door spins in the wrong direction, so the orange robot can't get out. Look for what's wrong with the controllers and try to fix it. Perfect. Press space. Okay. Uh, w to drive the purple robot forward. E to open the purple door. Okay. Press 2 to switch to the blue transmitter. Oh my goodness. You can have multiple robots now. Oh, that's so good. That's so cool. You can actually make multiple robots on one level. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff. Could we get what does nine do? Does nine control the orange one? Zero is the orange one, right? No. We're still stuck in the blue one. This is so cool. Oh, I and K are that. Oh my god. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So we gotta adjust the blue door. How the heck? I click on the blue one. Blue transmitter. Open blue door. Spin reverse. There we go. That's it. <laughs> This is so cool though. Okay, hold on. So that's that. Uh, open purple door E, perfect. Switch to blue robot, open blue door E, perfect. And orange robot forward. That's amazing. Oh, I see, we're supposed to get the or- Okay, oh, we gotta get the orange robot, gotcha. So we go up to the front, like so. Press e, e to open this door. And then switch to the blue robot, go up to the front here again. This is amazing. I can't believe you can do nesting robots in this. That's so awesome. And then the robot, there we go. High five them, man. Uh, what? Oh, I see. I gotta switch to the red controller and raise and lower the hand. Okay, gotcha. So we gotta go forward. This is, this is complicated. I like this. This is so cool. I hope they have challenges where it's required that you build multiple robots rather than just one. Because like the sandwich challenge, for example, you only really need to build one robot. So there we go. Go this, and then we switch to that. Raise the hand. Okay, then we switch back to this one. And that's, okay, that's the high five. That's so awesome. Such a wicked thing. Nesting robots, that's great. All right, surface joints. The pistons are blocked from moving. Pretty sure this is easy stuff. This is like what we were doing with that car when we had to adjust all the joints. Um, awesome, there's a bowling robot. What? That's so great. Did it just- it just already won? Oh, I have to make this ramp. I see. Okay, no problem, no problem. Yeah, the robot, it doesn't do anything. Look for what's wrong with the joints. Yeah, so this is again- so we just gotta take this joint and just click it and, you know, change it to be not a fix. No, delete, disconnect. There we go. Disconnect completely. That's awesome. This one's already disconnected. This one is fixed, delete, so it's disconnected. Those all stay connected, and we should be good to go. Easy. So cool. Perfect. All right, rotational joints. Activate the robot. Forward, back, left, right. Okay, up. Okay, yeah, that's good, but we can't rotate. Uh, hold on a bit. Oh, it's because there's that gear is, uh... Look at that. That gear is... Look at that. We can actually kind of get it to work. But yeah, that gear is not fixed. We need to fix the... Oh, okay. Well, I guess... Okay, sure. Let's drive over there. Insert the key. Yeah, but now I can't rotate the key. Yeah, no, I, I got it. The gear is... The gear is broken. J or L. Yeah, it doesn't work. I understand. I gotta just fix this one joint here. This one can't be a sliding joint. It's gotta be a fixed joint. There we go. And now if we go like this... Uh... Why can't I rotate the key? Hold on a minute. The heck? The... Okay, hold on. What what other joints are missing? Oh, this needs to be a rotation joint. There we go. Aha! Perfect. Amazing. That's awesome. Love it. 
All right, finally we got sliding joints. Same thing as before. This looks kind of like a printer. Oh, it's a claw. It's one of those claw machines. I really like the way that these structure these tutorials, making it all like robot repairs, giving you one thing at a time. I will admit the Roboco menu when you first get into it with all the different controls is a little bit confusing, but once you get used to it, it's actually pretty easy. Obviously, you know, I've played enough of the game and built some stuff where these tutorials are kind of easy, but it's still pretty awesome that, uh, oh my God, look at the detail on this. Little pandas and dinosaurs. But yeah, it's still pretty awesome that uh, they revamp the tutorials. U to close and open. That's so great. WASD to move the closed position. Doesn't do it. So we got to fix the joints. This is so cool. All right, so joints. What do we got here? Um, you're fixed on that. No, you should be a sliding joint. And then that's okay. You're allowed to slide. And you should be a sliding joint. And... Oh, and you should be a sliding joint, right? So, W, A, S, D, perfect, moves the claw, go down, can I, can I get the toy? Okay, open and close the claw, perfect. I got the toy, can I get more toys? I want, I want more toys, I wanna to get all the toys. All right, let me just, let me just click this one. Yeah, this is awesome. This is kind of a, a kind of a really good claw machine. It's, it's, the claw is pretty, pretty robust i don't think it ever drops anything there you go i took all of the toys well perfect that is all the tutorials i am a master at fixing robots apparently kind of funny because i used to work with robots in real life but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i want to get back into sandbox mode uh for robocoat as well they did change some things in the joint menu i noticed you can click delete to completely disconnect a joint now rather than uh you know just have to have it as an open joint as one of the options so it's kind of nice so we'll have to see what other things they've added to the game and i'd be very curious to redo the campaign missions with some better robots but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below make sure of course you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time